Hi, today is October 2nd, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1531 for the year, Below the Surface. It's kind of like the upside-down world from Stranger Things, but not quite. It's a world where people live upside down, and they sit in office chairs just below the surface, and the bottom parts of their chairs stick out through the concrete, and that's how you know they're there. I don't know what kind of business they do, but I don't think it's the devil's business. I don't think they're doing anything nefarious. I think they're just doing their thing, and I'm sure it's all above board, even if it is below the surface. I'm sure these people have nothing to hide and are not doing anything wrong. But am I being naive? Poem number 1532, Peter. Peter had a tiny Peter, but he had a wife, and he knew how to eat her. He ate her pumpkin very well, and when he was done, she was nothing but a shell. So eat that pumpkin, and get that vaccine, and have a happy Halloween. Poem number 1533, Howl. Howl. And the sun began to bleed, and the cobblestones wore tweed, and the windows closed their minds, and the kitchen spoke to the blinds, and the dog began to waltz, and the water tower went to Sunni new paltz, and the crayon told the truth as the fetus recalled its youth. And then the moon jumped over the cow, but please don't ever ask me how. Poem number 1534, Doggy Dog. The dog said to Doggy, that is a beautiful motherfucker of a moon. I'm going to howl at that shit until it jumps over the cow. And Doggy said, the moon don't jump, dog. Check yourself. And the dog said, it's a doggy dog world out there. And Doggy said, the expression is dog eat dog, not doggy dog. However, today, perhaps the expression could be, it's a doggy eat dog world. That shut the dog up, which Doggy thought was a shame, because that dog looked delicious. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1535, Brilliant Inventor. He was a brilliant inventor of very impractical things. He patented the fallopian tuba, but not a single one was ever produced. He invented a machine that could do nothing except turn itself off, but it had never been turned on. He came up with a line of bathing suits for starfish, and a line of power tools for penguins, and a line of cookware for lasagna. Not cookware to cook lasagna in, of course, because that would have been practical. But none of these inventions were ever used. The man was a true genius, and if he could have partnered with an expert in marketing, he might have really gotten somewhere. It's really a shame when circumstances are such that one's talent is not recognized. The man toiled in obscurity, and somehow lived a happy life anyway, because I said so. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.